Paul launches legal action. Dear David. This morning, Paul's solicitors started legal action against Wakefield Police. An official application was lodged with Leeds Magistrates Court and the case will be heard this Friday, the 17th of June. This particular legal action targets Paul's outrageous bail condition which prevents him from entering the town of Wakefield. We cannot launch legal action regarding the confiscated battle bus and mobile phone until Friday when the officer on the case returns from a conveniently timed holiday. If, on Friday, the investigating officer refuses to return the battle bus and mobile phone, we will lodge another application to have that brought before a court. If Paul is successful in court on Friday, and the magistrates overturn his outrageous bail condition, then he will be able to return to campaigning in Wakefield. It is wildly disproportionate and unfair having a registered political party leader being banned by the police from campaigning in the town where his party is fighting an election. To our knowledge, this has never been done in the history of British politics. Therefore, Paul has solid and reasonable grounds to get his bail condition scrapped or amended. Paul's legal team has secured the services of an experienced barrister to represent him in court on Friday. The combined barrister and solicitor fees come to £3,600. This is a superb rate considering the experience and skills of the barrister. Getting this outrageous bail condition overturned will be a huge victory against police tyranny. It will also teach them a lesson that if they cross the line with Britain first in the future, we will fight back immediately and embarrass them. Every time the police infringe on our political and democratic rights, it is our duty to fight them legally. They cannot be allowed to attack democracy and get away with it. They cannot be allowed to abuse Britain first and get away with it. Paul is determined to teach the police state a lesson they will never forget.